shape of an arrowhead. So it doesn't ask me if I want to use it. Use it. I have to like go into the menu and use it myself. Okay. All right. All right. We're going down here then. Since there's pretty much nowhere. Okay. There's pretty much nowhere else I can go. Um, I don't know what to do with that gem yet, unless that's something I could use in one of the rooms that's available to me, but I don't think so. Furnace. Hey, what the hell is this? A stone statue with a hole where the eye should be. Stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. What? The nose on that one. Mouth. Dude, this room looks crazy. Flames are dancing wildly. chain is moving. Where could it lead? <laughs> Yo, what the hell? Yeah, sure. Let me just uh, grab the key there and then just uh, meet my demise with a the coffin there. I feel like I should save before I do any of this stuff. But then I have, like, have saved three times in the span of like an hour if I did. I did do that. Hey, what's up, Magitech? How goes the spooky? It's pretty interesting so far. Dun, 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 dun. I, I recalled, like, uh, the beginning portion of the game that I have still in my head from memories when my uh, dad played through uh, the originals when I was growing up. Because I've never, I've never played Resident Evil at all myself, ever. Um, I just have watched my dad play it when I was uh, growing up. I don't think I should take that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's interesting because there's like, s there's so many different rooms. There's so many different like, I guess keys in a sense. What I need. I do like the, the fixed camera angles like this. This is pretty neat. Also, never played any Resident Evil games? Yeah. I would like to, though. I'd like to play this one and the second one at least. But, I don't know, kind of like... I've kind of been on a kick lately where I kind of want to... Like, play some older games that I've never, like, tried before. Like, the other day, I was li I was literally looking up, like, Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. I think those games would be interesting to play through. Because I've never played any of them, except the second one. And that was just, like, me messing around at the beginning uh, of the game. Because I think you're on, like a like, a cargo ship or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. I was looking up uh, Metal Gear Solid stuff uh, the other day. I think I should probably save. Dun, dun, dun. And then I gotta get back on playing Persona as well. Because, um, I haven't played that in, like, I think it's been, like, almost a month or something. Metal Gear Solid games are pretty fun, but if you can understand the plot, you're doing better than me. Yeah, I think that it's probably pretty confusing. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, man. I think I'll be in the same boat, honestly. Because the list that I was looking at was like, 
obviously like play the games in, in chronological order like when they came out and then it was like if you want to know the story then you got to play like i don't know metal gear solid 3 first and then some of these other games or whatever and it's just like yeah i don't think i would do it that way but yeah it's the story sounds uh pretty intense Okay, so I've saved now. Um, let me go check this room over here. And then I'll go back and then I'll... I'll I promise to get smashed by the, the, the hanging coffin that was down there. Aw, oh, hell. Um, I'm gonna have to juke this guy. I'm going to get him in this room and I'm just going to juke him. There's some neat mechanics in later MGS games, including a boss that's beatable, but not playing the game. Uh, use that. Wait, does that insta-kill a zombie? Nope! Alright, I'm out of here. So the game introduced uh, defensive items. So whenever I get caught, I don't, I don't take damage. But yeah, I should have known that that was not going to kill a zombie. A little measly dagger that's probably not as sharp. Uh, including a boss that's beatable by not playing the game. What? That ins that statement intrigues me and also confuses me at the same time. But I guess you have to play it to see for yourself. Uh, let's see. Can I use this here? Not necessary to use this now, okay. Um, I think this room's a dead end, honestly. Emblem of a sword? Okay. Yeah, I can't do anything in this room. I think I might have used my defensive items. <sighs> Maybe I can just take a hit, honestly. Well, just... That kind of sucks that she uses that automatically. They actually dead? He is. I mean, I would. Is there an option for that? Display controls. Defensive items auto. I'd rather do it manually. Yeah. I would have preferred that, honestly. Because now I've used up two. And I kind of didn't need it here. Let's exit out of here. There's a boss that you can beat in game as normal, but if you get to it and then you don't play for like two weeks, you can load your file and the boss will have died of old age. <laughs> Yo. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> it's one of those games that like, I feel like the only other game that implemented like actual time passing was like animal crossing and maybe like super smash bros when you had to leave the game on for like 60 hours or something to unlock mewtwo or something that's crazy Okay, so we can't do anything else in those rooms. Um, we can... I could go back down to... the coffin room, because I don't... because that's a new area that we opened up, and none of these other places we can go to. So, I don't 
think so. Let me see if I can, uh... Okay, that doesn't go there. Okay. Well. I guess let's go get smashed. I've already been killed by, um... A booby trap, um... Of a statue that, like... Basically impaled me with uh, a spiky shield, so we got that going for us already. Uh, Baton Kaidos has items that change based on real life time. What? I feel like that mechanic needs to be brought back in games today. Bring it on back. Okay. Alright, just kill me. I'm ready to die. This thing is going to smash on our head. A book is fitted perfectly into the invention. The Book of Curses. I mean, I... I don't want to look and see what's inside. I'm going to read it before I die. Book of Curses. Oh, there's a key in here. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Yes. You got the mansion key. Hey, this is that was the key I was trying to get earlier. But it was in a different room. Book of Curses. The Four Mask. A mask that speaks no evil. That smells no evil. That sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. What? When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. What the hell? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. So apparently this thing will not come down until I have done all this stuff here. A stone statue with holes where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be- wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do have... I do have a gem. Which may- I, I could maybe fit this into one and then something else happens? I don't know. Uh, if you have one mask that never speaks, smells, or sees evil, why do you also need individual mask? Magitech asks the real questions. A hole where the mouth should be. Statue where the nose should be. Where should I put this one? Because I have this. Blue gemstone. Is this, this more of a nose or a mouth? Let's try the mouth. I don't know if I actually need to, to put this here or not. Nope. Let's try the nose then. Nope. I think that's how you have to use items in this game on stuff. So if it's if it doesn't work like that, then uh, I don't know. Okay, so we can't do anything out here. I mean, I could try the other 
two statues, but I don't block from the other side. I don't think I need to. Um. Okay, so we got to go back inside. Well, the good thing is that we do have the mansion key now, actually. So... I do have that I could use. Examine item. Mansion key. There's nothing unusual. Oh, there's a sword on it. Wait a minute. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So there's going to be... Does one of these doors have a sword on it or no? Helmets. I think it, I think the sword door is upstairs. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, we're making progress. I do like the the atmosphere of this game though. It's pretty nice. I'm not one to really play horror games in general, but Resident Evil is a different kind of horror, I would say. At least these earlier ones compared to what they are now. Nothing here but a bunch of knickknacks. Doesn't seem to be anything useful here. Uh, it's funny, these preset camera angles that were needed on PS1 actually make the game look a lot more cinematic than if the camera rotated freely. Yeah, definitely. It's also kind of weird, like, when you're walking towards an area, and then the camera just suddenly changes to a different angle, and then I'm, like, moving in a different direction, it feels like. But, no, I, I, I dig it. Emblem of Armor. Okay. So I still have the mansion key, okay. Dude, I'm gonna need, like, a some kind of box to store some items in or something. Emblem of armor. Glass has been broken and the picture inside has been removed. What's this? The wooden mount? I don't know if I should. As much of a loot whore I am, I in this game I've got to kind of like pick and choose. Let's see what's in here. Wait, is this is this a save room? Dog whistle. What? Handgun magazine? Where's the typewriter? Record is Jupiter. Gramophone. An opened journal. The pages are blank. Damn, that, that person never got to get started on their book. Was that lighter? I can't pick up any of these items. I mean, I could, but then when I really need a space uh, inventory slot, I'm not gonna be able to use it. Looks on various peoples of the earth. Okay. That room had so much stuff in there. Whoa! Uh, all right. I mean, I, I, I guess. 
think I miss. What? Oh no. Um They're vomiting. Oh god. I don't have any defensive items now. Um The doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Okay. Go through anyway. I have to get out of here. Where the hell am I now? I guess they're probably going to come through. Get myself lost. Where am I? Okay, I'm on the other side. It says I'm on the first floor. Dude, there's so many doors. Umbrella emblem for some reason? Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go through here, I guess. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. Traces of something burnt here. Smell permeates the area. Picture stands and bronze statues. Nothing of interest here. Well, there is more ink ribbon so I can save. If I manage to stay alive and get back. Oh! Shotgun? Okay. I mean, I... Should I take the shotgun or should I not? Dagger, defensive item. Okay, okay. Quits. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Same. Oh, you meant in-game. <laughs> Same can be said for, for life as well. I will say it's been a lot of fun um, doing, doing the raids with everybody. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I don't think I've done that. Um, I I've actually never done like savage stuff. I think I've tried like X trials um, before with some of the FC, but um, it was always just kind of like spur of the moment thing. Um, but it's been a lot of fun so far. I I, I think I should probably take this honestly. Oh. It lifted. Well, you set the shotgun. Wait, what is it? Clearly it does something. I'm going to join. I feel really good on everything up to devour and getting better on that. Yeah. The more that we practice and stuff, um, it definitely makes it easier for sure. Seeing everything and then like getting comfortable with it and stuff. But yeah, hopefully uh, on... Thursday we can maybe beat it maybe because I don't think there's that much left um I don't think there's that much left I think there's like two more or three more things and then that's pretty much like kill it I'm not gonna take that shotgun because I think it there's something that it's locked on to, and if I take it off, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's walk over here. Wait, did I just... 
I'm confused. Did I just loop around? We may or may not have looped around. Nope, this is different. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. I mean, I'll wait. I'll hang on. Looks like the water still works. Doesn't look like it's been serviced in a while. Oh no. Yeah, I mean, let's drain the tub, I guess, and see what's down there. Step on its head. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wait, we don't even get to see her throwing up? She's just like completely fine now? That was a weird cut. A water back in the tub, back in the tub. Hey, that was worth it. Another defensive item. Yeah, as long as I didn't have to waste ammo on that kill, that's fine. That was a fun little scene, I guess. Okay, so we're done in this room. Could get back to the... Um, the typewriter so I could save... Use the lockpick. Okay. Picture of the mansion against the setting sun. Okay, let's go in here. I should be getting... Yeah, that's going to lead into... Something else. I think I'm in that hallway. Map. Are there dogs out here? I kind of wish I had the dog whistle now. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they, yeah. They're right here. Or at least one is. Dead dog. <laughs> well, I found the mother load of, um,. Of herbs. I think I... I could grab one, but I don't think I will. Uh, I'm gonna leave this room. Will you take the chemical to use on plants? No. Okay, we know what... Wait, is he following me? 